Hello there. This is just a, a quick video to run through the tune Early Morning Mist. Basically, it's a very simple melody, but the embellishments tend to make this tune stand out. And by that, I mean the slides and the grace notes. So in this video, I will attempt to show you and explain exactly what I put into this tune when I play it, so it will give you a better idea of perhaps how to approach the melody. I'm going to use my electric violin, which is a, a passive. In other words, there are no onboard electronics on this particular fiddle. I go through this um, very cheap chorus pedal um, which basically is acting as a direct input. You need something like this with a, a passive electric violin um, because otherwise you lose some of the, the full signal of the violin. So you need something like this. And then I'm going to play through my Roland straight amplifier which is basically a battery amp very useful for practices and that sort of thing I've got some reverb on this amplifier which I've got switched on and I've reduced some of the top frequencies so it gives it quite this this violin this fiddle quite a nice sound <laughs> So what I'll do now is I'll play the tune, I'll play a bit of it and then I'll try and explain what I've done in that part that I've played and then I'll work my way th progressively through each part of the tune. So the first section starts like this. <laughs> So I kick off there with a slide, that's on the A string, first note, I slide up from the note below, and then I do a sort of flick with my middle finger, so to start again. slide there on the D string up to the first note so from the top again and then when I play that second note on the D string I once again do a grace note so from the top, moving on, now that's interesting, I do a sort of hammer on there. That part there, it's a hammer on that, so you basically you've got your first finger on the first note and then you just bring your ring finger down quickly onto the third note. So from the top, Slight variation here. A slight hammer on there from the second note on the D string. 
to the third note on the D string. Those hammer-ons, what they actually do is they emphasise the rhythm. So from the top, three, four. So you've got slides, you've got an occasional grace note, and you've got a couple of hammer-ons as well. So those things are worth introducing into your playing, if you can, on this tune. Now I'm going to have a look at the B section of the tune, so I'm going to play that now. Right, so the th embellishments there were some slides up and there's also a slide down from that um, towards the end of the B section when my middle finger is on the second note. I'll try and point that out to you. So starting off from the, the beginning of the B section there's the first slide. So that's first finger on the first note of the D string. Now there's something important going on there. When I play that first couple of bars, or that first measure, I play the first note on the D string, and then I transfer to the second note on the A string. But what I don't do is I don't take my finger off. I leave my first finger holding down the first note of the D string, and then I then place my middle finger on the second note of the A string. Now, the reason I don't take my finger off and then play the next note on the A string, or before playing the next note, I don't take my finger off because it makes the, the flow of the notes smoother. So, so without thinking I do that, now I could play them as individual notes by take my finger off and put my middle finger on the A string but it sounds odd it's just almost staccato like so I hold my first finger down on the first note and then I play the second note immediately afterwards while still holding down my first finger so it's almost like holding down a double stop so I'll illustrate that again. Okay, did you get that? So basically I'm trying to make the flow of the notes as smooth as possible. And that's one technique that I use. So I'll continue now. There's a lovely slide there. That's the second note on the E string. And there's a, a slide with the third note on the A string with your ring finger. That 
that's a sort of grace note I put in there on the E string by holding down my middle finger on the second note. I hammer on and off with my ring finger on the third note of the E string. So from the top. on the first note of the E string. Now here's a slide down. You On the second note of the A string So I'll play that all together. So now I'll play the whole tune right the way through the A section and the B section. Three, four. That's the tune Early Morning Mist. Um, if you're interested in electric violins and the one that I'm playing here and, and the other electric violins that I've bought over the years, I have a whole series of YouTube videos that I made on electric violins, a whole series of videos that I put together. So I'll put a link in this description, this video description if you're interested in that. Um, now I'll also put a link for the no musical notation for this tune Early Morning Mist and plus a link to my original 
uh, performance video where you can hear the tune being played right the way, non-stop, from start to finish. I hope that's given you some inkling as to how I approach playing this tune um, and I hope it's a use, this might be a useful video for you. Thank you for your query and um, anyone else that enjoys watching this, thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye now.